My name's Adam Shrews. I'm a third generation vegetable grower uh, from Clyde, Victoria. Uh, we're a family business over 50 years old. Uh, we grow celery, leeks, um, baby leaf, spinach and rocket also. Uh, we have seven different properties and employ around 180 people. The main weed control methods we use in our vegetable crops here are start uh, post harvest from the previous crop. Any weeds that have come up there we, we go through with a glyphosate spray and kill everything off before we even start preparing our ground. Uh, once everything is killed off the, the soil's worked, uh, ripped and, and ploughed and prepared into beds well ahead of planting if possible. Uh, then we try and pre-germinate as many um, as many generations of weeds as, as we can on the bed. So that means if we have to, if, if it's still very dry, we will irrigate to get those seeds to germinate. Um, once they've germinated, come up, we spray them off, and we'll repeat that process up to even three or four times, with time permitting. The, the more times, the better, really. Uh, then without disturbing that bed again, we, we, we plant into it with transplanters or, or seed. Um, once the plants are in, we'll, we'll spray over them with a pre-emergent herbicide to try and seal off that ground, stop any weeds coming up. Sometimes we can use two pre-emergent herbicides, um, just depending on the weed pressures and if any other things do come up. We also have the option of inter-row cultivating, which we do use most times through the crop now, um, once or twice or sometimes even more, and that, that'll mechanically knock the weeds out of the rows. Um, and then any remaining after that, we'll, we'll walk through if there's you know, any resistant weeds that, that the spray didn't kill and are within the plant row that we couldn't reach with our mechanical um, tillers, we'll walk through and pull those out by hand just to stop the seed setting. We're always interested in exploring new weed management approaches that, that we may not have looked into before. Um, there have been a few that I've, I've seen around um, and heard of on podcasts and spoken to neighbours about. Uh, some are using um, you know, flame weeding, so actual flames to heat and kill the um, seeds in the top of the seed bed and, and burn the weeds off. Uh, others I've heard of it is steam, steamers that will kill the weeds with steam and heat, it, heat them up to a point where the seeds are no longer viable. Um, also looking at some of the new biochemicals, the new organic knockdown herbicides. Um, very expensive at the moment, but probably still an option to try. And you know, when things go really bad and we get caught right out, um, to a point where we can't control weeds, is, there is an option that, that we may have to look at some fumigants or um, some, even biofumigants, um, growing cover crops to smother out weed populations. But um, you know, there's a, there's a lot more things that I still want to do in this space to try and improve what we're doing. Hi, so I'm Carl Larson uh, from RMCG. Um, I'm the program coordinator and field officer for the South East region for the VegNet project. So that's uh, all about getting levy funded research out on farms in, in Victorian regions. Um, my counterpart over in Gippsland, Shane Hyman, and I work pretty closely together along with Clinton Muller in the west and uh, at Ken Orr up in the north of the state as well. Um, I guess specifically around integrated weed management, um, and some of Adam's practices like the stale seed bed and intra-row tillage. I think it's a really important lesson there for other growers in learning from what these leading growers are doing. And in Victoria, we've got plenty of them in a whole range of areas and production techniques. But I think what Adam's managed to do here specifically around weeds is demonstrate that innovation doesn't necessarily mean something really costly or something really complex that it can actually be looking at a, an existing problem just in a slightly different way and doing little things differently or at different times. Um, so that example of the, the stale seedbed is one where reducing that reliance on pre and post emergent herbicides has been a really good, good 
lesson and, and, and that shift away from this calendar spray. With the market demanding you know, cleaner produce and issues with resistance management, I think those types of cultural controls and looking after the chemistry we've already got are really good approaches. I think too, some of just on the innovation side, Adam's work with the Soil Wealth and ICP demonstration site at one of his other properties, um, always willing to look at, at different ways of doing things. But starting small, so you know, chatting to his engineer about the intra row tillage we're seeing, just starting on, on one row formations rather than over capitalising early on and just seeing what works and what doesn't. It's all about tinkering and, and finding what fits with your production system, and, and it's not a one size fits all approach. So I think they've been really good at. Um, encompassing that, that approach and um, scaling up if ne necessary, but also moving away from things kind of quickly if they, if they haven't worked or adapting them as they go.